Artificial intelligence is reshaping the world. It's rewriting the way we work, learn, and even think. And now, one of the world's most powerful AI companies, OpenAI, is making its official entry into India. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, has announced it will open its first India office in New Delhi. At the same time, it has launched its cheapest ever subscription plan for ChatGPT users in India, just $4.60 which is 399 rupees a month. So why does this matter? It is an important development, because it marks a turning point. India is now at the center of OpenAI's global expansion strategy. Being one of the fastest growing digital economies in the world, with over 850 million internet users, a thriving developer community, and a booming startup ecosystem makes India an irresistible market for any AI company. By setting up an office in Delhi, OpenAI is saying loud and clear, India is no longer just a user base for AI, India is going to be a key player in shaping the future of AI itself. Let's talk about that $4.60 ChatGPT plan. In the US, a ChatGPT Plus subscription costs $20 a month, that's around 1,600 Indian rupees in Indian currency. But in India, OpenAI is rolling out a plan at just 399 rupees. That's not just cheap, it's the lowest price ChatGPT has ever offered anywhere in the world. Why? Because India is a volume market. OpenAI knows millions of Indians, from college students to small business owners, are eager to use AI, but price has been a barrier. The Delhi office is not just a physical space. It signals that OpenAI wants to hire Indian talent, build local partnerships, and work with the government. India has one of the largest pools of AI engineers and data scientists in the world. By hiring here, OpenAI gets access to that brainpower, while also making India a hub for its future innovations. This move also has geopolitical significance. AI is the new oil. Countries that dominate AI will dominate the future economy. By entering India now, OpenAI is positioning itself before rivals like Google DeepMind, Anthropic, and Meta make similar large-scale moves. But it won't be easy. India may pose some tough questions around data privacy, AI regulation, and ethical use to OpenAI. There are also concerns that cheaper AI could disrupt jobs, especially in areas like customer service, teaching, or content creation. And let's not forget, for AI-based tools to be successful in India, they should be usable in dozens of regional languages, dialects, and cultural contexts. That's a big challenge for OpenAI to crack. So here's the bottom line. OpenAI's India debut isn't just another corporate expansion. It's a signal of how the AI race is heating up globally, and how India has become one of the most important battlegrounds. Because in the story of artificial intelligence, India may now be stepping into a starring role.